Hello everyone, my name is Dima Gerbanos. I'm a sales engineering lead at MEND, formerly Whitesers. And in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how MEND Defender can help with the supply chain integrity when it comes to open source usage. Specifically, how can we protect a developer desktop before a malicious open source package is even downloaded? You may be familiar with popular JavaScript libraries such as Covers or UA parser and we published a few articles when they were compromised while typo squatting attack with the combination of cross language methods used in order to compromise the covers package the ua parser package was compromised via account takeover in case of the ua parser three malicious versions have been published after hijacking the author's account 0.729 0 0.80 and version 1 all malicious packages have been removed from NPM. So if you go to NPM, you will not find these versions over here. There is no version one, there is no version 0 0.80, and there is no version 0.729. However, it took more than eight hours unless these malicious packages have been removed from NPM. If you are using Artifactory and during that time pull these malicious packages, they still can be downloaded by your developers. Moreover, the UA parser package is used by over 1,000 other packages on NPM, some directly, but mainly indirectly. Well, the good news is that you could easily prevent this by utilizing our supply chain defender. Recently, we have extended our Artifactory plugin to support real-time scans for malicious packages, meaning all Artifactory downloads from supported registries will be checked first and prior to being downloaded. So how does it work? Defender constantly monitors package registries such as NPM for new packages and new releases and scans new releases immediately after they are published to the package registry. Defender performs dozens of tests to determine if a package is uh, malicious and flex malicious packages accordingly. In some cases, manual review is required and it will be performed by MAN uh, researchers. In order to show Defender in action, I will need a real malicious package. I will utilize Verdaccio, a private NPM registry where I uploaded the malicious version of the UA parser. As you can see, the version 0.729 uh, is here. And I will point my remote uh, repository in the Artifactory to Verdaccio rather than to the default NPM uh, registry. So here is uh, the URL. And now finally, let's go ahead and try installing the UA parser. Let's try installing a non-malicious version first, let's say 0.728. As expected, uh, everything went just fine and successfully installed on my local machine. And now let's try installing a malicious package 0.729. There you go. As you can see, it has been blocked by the defender and it is all in real time. Actually, the package was never downloaded to my local machine, and that is super important since the package managers like NPM, Ruby, or Python execute packages on install, even if the package manager doesn't run them. Just to be on the safe side, let's review the JFrog RT factory as well. And indeed, only version 7.28 has been uploaded to the Artifactory and since version 7.29 blocked by uh, the Defender. In addition, all malicious packages will be displayed in the main UI. Here it is, version 7.29 of the UA parser that uh, blocked by uh, the Defender. And this is super important because the AppSec team can easily review these packages and generate reports of all malicious uh, components. When uh, some exceptions are required, the system admin can also release blocks artifacts by ignoring the alerts that have been generated by the defender. Other than blocking malicious packages from being downloaded, you can also dictate what open source components are allowed by enforcing our regular policies 
around uh, security vulnerabilities, uh, license compliance, and more. For the demo purposes, I have created a policy that will block any security vulnerabilities with the score higher than nine. And then another policy that will ignore any of my organizational policies just um, to keep it clean and focus on the Defender functionalities. After installing a few NPM packages, a few of them have been uh, blocked. Uh, let's analyze Lodash as an example. There are basically seven security vulnerabilities and indeed one of them has a score higher than uh, nine, the first uh, CV in this case with a score 9.1. Uh, Very similar to the malicious packages we saw before, it will also generate an alert which can be ignored by the system admin in case you do want to release that particular package. I hope this short video will help you prevent malicious open source packages from entering your code base. And Thanks for watching.